Welcome to Jasper ITV, the home of Pinoy Boxing Sports. Boxing legend Manny Pacquiao will face the most dangerous Argentinian champion, Lucas Mathisi for the WBA regular welterweight title at the Axiata Arena in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. But before watching my video please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's already one year since Pacquiao lose in a controversial unanimous decisions versus Jeff Horn in Brisbane, Australia and lost his WBO welterweight champion belt. While Mathy C came from a KO win against Thailand's Kiwakirm last January 2016. Mathy C on the other hand has the best record with 39 wins with 35 knockout with only 4 losses. This fighter has 82% knockout and no for his aggressive fighting style and known for the Argentinian knockout artist. So the question is. Will Manny Pacquiao win against Mathy C or Mathy C will know him up? So guys let's go back and watch the highlights of Pacquiao vs Mathy C. Is the Marquez strategy? Don't know if he's technically proficient enough. There it is again. Just missed the punch that we're gonna be looking for. Pacquiao throws, doubles up the jab. Came up. Batista trying to kick. There it is. Checking that right hand is Pacquiao. Does that give Batista a tactical advantage? I think it does. I think it was a constant burning guy. On the outside, which is smart. You have to do that and try to catch Manny Pacquiao as he comes in. Got to be willing to throw when he does that. Yes. You will get those shots. And the they have not spoken since Australia. The fight of this magnitude. You have to go back to when Muhammad Ali was 33 years old and had a 15-round unanimous decision as the knockdown is scored here in round number three. Pacquiao gets to Matisse. To one of the in the 10th round. It's hard to gauge him. More purposeful training camp compared to what you just described. They're 39 year old legs either way. <laughs> they, they need to be freshened up. And he's not a heavy. 45 or maybe even a nice. Oh, it's an uppercut. uppercut hook, 45. Non conforming. Yeah. It's what he's always been. And it got the best of Matisse there in round number three. You lean over the front foot. Double cuts to Pacquiao. Trying to get around the guard now with that left hand. No finishes, you'll see. Right hand, he flipped him right there. Well, it seems to me that Matisse's best shot, he dropped the left hand. But the problem I made was I double jabbed. And he came right down the pipe with his left hand. I didn't see it. Utilizing that jab, comes with a left hand that gets around the guard. Doing the same thing, looking for his opportunity. But that's the price. Oh. There's a body shot from Pacquiao. Matisse get Matisse still dangerous. Having some moments in his round. Oh, that got to him. He takes a knee. See the hesitation from Matisse. Got clipped on the temple. He should take a knee. I, I, I'm kind of confused. It was Standing in front, you're right in front of Pacquiao. He wants movement. He's not getting it. And he gets right back to work and does so with a combination. And there's that. Of what he's always shown us, and he scored two knockdowns. Up. Pacquiao trying to get under that. Guard there and placed the body shot moments ago. Matisse comes forward again. Remaining Pacquiao, the borderline strength man, former heavyweight. Pacquiao, exactly. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see that. I can. Uppercut again, and he puts him down again. Pacquiao floors him a third time.
return fight. How about it? Jimmy. Pacquiao doing what Pacquiao does. Stocking coming behind the jab. The jab sets the table. Pacquiao cleans him up with the left uppercut. His punishment over this course of this fight. That was a big shot. Yes, it was. I mean, that was a big, big shot that left Ladies up. and gentlemen, here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia referee. Hold the hall for the contest following the knockdown. This is the time. Two minutes, 43 seconds down, number seven. The winner by GKO victory. And now, once again, he is the world away.